Uh, this is the truth behind the uh, Russell Simmons and my man Rick Rubin. The split. Well, a lot of truth has been already told about it, and a lot of it has never been spoken on between the two. When they first started, Rick Rubin was the engine behind finding all the talent. Basically, at the label, you know, um, the plan was for Run DMC to eventually, you know, launch Def Jam, but they got signed to a major, and that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> so, once he got a managerial deal to manage Run DMC, they were able to get a street loan to bag the company and keep it afloat while they try to put records out to you know re-up recoup now with this process going on we've seen a lot of different things turn we've seen a lot of different avenues uh, restructure itself and in the midst of that, we've seen a lot of people go left. <laughs> you know, um, we've seen, eh, I want to say, a lot of inaccuracies, but we have. Russell Simmons and Rick Rubin were both headstrong you know Rick was more of the recluse don't like to go out in public hated it he, if he stayed in that smelly dorm room doing all type of business deals that was his thing Let's grow this to another level. You know, let's let's go and take it to a max, but let's let's go further. And as Rick was getting more into to different type of rock bands like the Beastie Boys and and different type of sounds. Russ was more concerned was make sure we keep in the street from the hood. That's where it comes from. That's where it's going to stay. We got to make sure the hood is represented. We ain't going to lose our identity. So they, have been, they, have, they started to clash a little bit. Because the Beastie Boys was like Rick's, you know, that was his go-to. You know, Run DMC, the Beastie Boys. All that imprint going back to Cali. That's Rick Rubin. You know, that's Rick's thing. Once Rick was gone, abruptly, Rick just up and quit. Like, I'm done with it. I can't do it no more. I quit. He basically took almost nothing when he left. Russ is just like, man, I think Rick's just burnt out, man. He's just tired, you know. Rick, Rick's, uh, you know, Rick's different, man. Rick, Rick, Rick's want to go in another direction and do some other things, man. You know what I'm saying? Def Jam's going in another direction. You know, we, we're going up to the top. And at this time, R&B was coming in, you know, like the new edition groups. And Rick wasn't really into all that. Rick liked, Rick liked music. He liked actual singers. Not just this rhythm and blues dance and things. They saw New Edition and all these wonderful things coming up at the talent shows. But he was more into those who could actually sing. Rick was more into that. You know, Rick Rubin. He was cared about the sound. Most of these new R&B acts that they were looking at they could barely sing, but they were appealing. And Rick wanted no parts of that. 
as far as the future of Def Jam. He saw it coming. And I believe Bobby Brown and and I'll be sure and they had all these other people that were there and and Russell Simmons is like having it hosting his party. I, I wanna say Christopher Williams were there, I'm not really sure. But it was like all these new age young kids who barely could sing, but they were selling records. And this was going to be the face of music, like MC Hammer, all this dance. And, and he's like, oh, this is it. We're, you know, Russ is the kind that wants to jump on the wagon while it's moving. Rick Rubin couldn't do that. That wasn't built in Rick's, you know, DNA. Rick was not made to be that guy. So, on that note, I'm out. I mean, I wish it was more to it to make it more like there was a struggle or fight. They really didn't talk for years. Didn't really speak. It's just that Rick went into recluse. He he started making a studio. He started doing scores for weird music, avant-garde <laughs> type sounds. You know, Rick is just locked away. Then people would go way out to go see him. And then you never really saw the inside of Rick Rubin's house. He's got a big house with a bison in it and everything. Jay-Z went out there and, and when he did the 99 Problems with the old Run DMC beat. Then... Uh, Rick has a school bus that's like a full studio on a school bus in the backyard. Like, who, ha who has stuff like that, you know? So, it's just, that's Rick Rubin, man. And I wish I had more to tell you about it, but there's really nothing more to tell about it because the people that's around Rick Rubin are very quiet very not into the sharing mode and he don't have a lot of people hanging around him that's divulging information on rick this is about as far as it goes um they're very cool now you know rick has made public appearances now he comes out a lot more um he goes to the porn awards you know i've seen him there before and that is about it. So, other than that, I'm out. Don't forget to click the link and leave a, a donation in the description box. It's your boy Carcino. Y'all have a blessed day.